16-year-old Megan Kwan sharpens her skills in the water every day, but her Olympic dreams don't end there. Every night before I go to bed, I just think about my race. Um, I take it from start to finish in the ready room behind the blocks my entire race and I time it in my mind. Juan won the 100 meter breaststroke title at the Olympic trials last month and was third in the 200. Since then, she's been thinking big and talking publicly about her plans for Sydney, to defeat world record holder Penny Haynes of South Africa, to set her own world mark and to win gold. Well, you know, I think going into such a big event like this, you have to be full of confidence, otherwise you're not gonna do well here. And so, um, I mean, some people may look at it as brash or cocky, but I look at it as that's the way I have to be to, to accomplish my goals. Oh, I, I like her confidence. In fact, she came to me and said, uh, Richard, should I tone down what I'm saying and all that? And I said, Megan, you keep saying and doing exactly what you're doing because it's working. <laughs> Juan's competitive fires were kindled early as a result of a sibling rivalry with her older brother. She's been consumed with her sport throughout her teenage years and feels all the lonely hours in the pool have been anything but a sacrifice. I don't really look at swimming as like something that I have to give things up for. Um, you know, I think some other people are missing out on what I do because, I mean, while they're spending time at the mall or at the movies, um, I'm having fun doing what I do and that's swimming. But this is more than a splash in the pool. This is the Olympics. Yet Megan Kwan vows to make the rest of the field irrelevant, not get swallowed up in the moment, and just do what comes next. As long as you give me a pool and a clock to time me, I'll be there to race. So give me a prediction. 105.49. My goal is to come home with two gold medals and two world records. It's called attitude, and when you combine it with talent, Megan Kwan has put herself in a position to shock the world. Kwan wears a small golden shoe charm around her neck, a present from her grandfather. He was a member of the United States Olympic team in 1940 as a track and field star, but the games were never contested that year because of World War II. Now, 60 years later, he'll have his Olympic experience as he watches his granddaughter, Megan Kwan, go for the gold. In Sydney, Australia, I'm Nick Charles.